All right, everyone. So I just got this in the mail today. Uh, I pre-ordered this quite a while ago when I first heard about Nyko coming out with a charging dock for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Um, you know, for, for my consoles, I like having a charging cradle for my controllers just for convenience factor. And for the longest time, there wasn't one for the Switch. Well, since it came out. And this is actually the first one. So, this is how the front looks like. There's the side. There's the back. There's the other side. Uh, that's the bottom. And there's the top. Now, the last time I used a Nyko charging station, um, it felt a little bit on the cheap side, which is, I went in this with caution. So, from the pictures I've seen, it looks like uh, Nike was like up in their quality when it comes to this this kind of stuff. And so far, the box, you know, is a nice looking box. So that's that's a good thing. So I just use my bat knife to take the tape off. And um, all right, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. There we go. Like that. And just to let you know, this is like $20. So this is a $20 charging dock. So we got the uh, instruction manual. We got the micro USB cable. No USB-C. The power brick. I will say this. In a way, this is actually kind of nice. That I can actually just plug into a different... Uh, USB connector and it'll still charge, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, we got the little piece that connects to the controller. Um, I wonder why there's a little button on there. There's a little button right there for some reason. But yeah, you basically plug this in and the uh, contacts on the bottom. And the main attraction. Uh, come on. There you go. Alright, nothing else besides a little plastic insert for this to hold. Throw that on the floor. Take this out of the plastic. And there's the charging block. It's very light. Um, yeah, it's actually it's actually pretty light. So let me uh, grab my Pro controller, which is right here. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Is is that why? Is there a button there? So yeah, it just plugs in like so, and oh wow, it actually it actually goes in there pretty snug. So then it just goes in like so. You know, that's actually not too bad. Whoa. It doesn't like uh, it doesn't like snap onto it or anything. Uh, it kind of just sits on there. So, yeah. So let me actually just plug this in real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this thing actually powers on. One little complaint I will say though is the cord is a little bit on the short side. But uh, it plugs in the back there, and I'm going to go ahead and connect this to the wall. The light comes on. Let's see what happens. Ah, the light is actually on that little connector itself. So, I don't know how well 
it's going to show up on camera. But there is a light right there. And all right, that button is just a little pass through. Um, wow, that's that button is just a little pass through for the sync button on the uh, for the controller. So yeah. So yeah, I, th I thought I would have to like do s rig something up so that this doesn't like come off easily, but it actually stays on there pretty tightly. Um, yeah, I just slap it on there. Light comes on. Assuming I actually get it on there. Um, so yeah, if I was going to change anything on this, uh, one thing I would change is add some weight to the. This is a little bit on the light side, to be honest with you. And I do have little sticky pad things I'm going to put on here so that when I actually place it on on wherever I'm going to have it at it actually just sticks to it and it doesn't actually slide around all over the place because this thing's this thing is a little bit on the on the light side to be quite honest with you also looking at it I don't think this charging station thing had to be this big to be quite honest with you um, but, you know, it, it'll get the job done. Uh, if I'm holding the controller, um, yeah, it's actually, yeah, this thing is not in the way at all, which is good. Um, but I'm going to use this for a while, and I'll actually give a full review, uh, maybe in like in a week or so. I just want some time to use it. Uh, but... First impressions, it's actually not bad at all. Um, so yeah, uh, that was just a quick unboxing and a quick first impression on the Nyko Charge Block Pro for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So that's it. Like always, have a good one. Leave those comments down below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And like always, have a good one. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified on all the new videos I come out with.